My name is uh, Dr. Luis Scott, and I'm a cardiologist from Mayo Clinic in Arizona. I'm going to explain a study that we uh, presented in the American College of Cardiology uh, in San Francisco uh, on March uh, 2013. Uh, we decided to study the potential interference of hybrid vehicles or, or the hybrid cars uh, with implantable devices. One day in our clinic, uh, one of our patients asked the question, well, can I drive my hybrid automobile without being concerned with potential interaction? And our answer for them is that we really don't know. There aren't any studies uh, that have addressed this uh, specific question. Therefore, we designed a study to study the interaction uh, between these devices, namely implantable defibrillators and hybrid vehicles, hybrid cars. Uh, we chose uh, the uh, Toyota Prius as the, uh, the car for the study since it's the most uh, prevalent or the, the, the biggest fleet of hybrid vehicles in the world. Our study uh, consists of uh, having patients with real devices uh, that had been planted in the past and have them tested uh, lively while they're, they're driving a hybrid vehicle. Uh, so we uh, uh, we would test the, uh, the car in motion in different driving conditions and also uh, at different sites uh, in the car. For instance, the driver's seat versus the passenger seat versus the back seat. Uh, and also we tested uh, just in the surroundings of the automobile, like in front or in the back, that may be applicable for someone working in a car, such as mechanic. Uh, and then we... Uh, while the car was working in these different uh, conditions, we tested the potential interference with the device with a live connection uh, through a uh, device programmer. Uh, and then we also measured the amount of electromagnetic interference that these devices are being exposed during these different drive conditions. For practical purposes and for patients' sake, uh, we found um, that the device were exposed to some degree of uh, both electric and magnetic uh, uh, fields, but the amount of interaction or interference did not really uh, uh, affect the normal function of their devices. Based on our study, we found no reason to be concerned about riding or driving a hybrid uh, automobile. As a word of caution, I think that uh, this, these results are applicable to this specific car that was tested because different automobiles will have different amounts of energy uh, or different amounts of electric and magnetic fuel generated that potentially could interfere with these devices.